This spell is for Spellcaster's apprentice, Domni Broth Atswold, someone whose granny glasses are about to be stolen by the orangutan they keep zipped in their parka. The word is... Huckleberry. Sell it with me, if you dare. H-U-C-K-L-E-B-E-R-R-Y. I hate to be late to the party. I hate arriving at parties at all. And when parties come to me, knocking at my chamber door, you know? So much for getting to bed early. Anyway, seems there was a spat of fake news a while back claiming that this man is saying, I'm your huckleberrer. I'm your huckleberrer. All I can say is, I never heard of a huckleberrer before, but I've heard of huckleberries. They're like blueberries. They're blue, just like the hound. And why, you might ask, why would a grown man offer to be his sworn enemy's blueberry? Well, as it's said, the past is like a foreign country. Different customs, different hygiene, different pop culture catchphrases. I myself was witness to a time not so long ago when cool people, cool people, straight up said, that's the bomb. Sincerely, I heard it myself. And then time goes and does its thing, and usage grows ever more ironic until it appears in commercials and is done. That's about where Huckleberry was when the surgeon who gave me consumption said it. He's quoting a love song of the time, a romantic line, basically saying, I'm your sweetheart. He's looking the man he means to kill dead in the eyes and saying, You, you complete, complete me. me. Johnny Ringo's calling him out. Ain't nobody got the guts to play for blood. And Holiday replies, You had me, hello. Give me your words. I 